Good morning, Dr. Watson. Good morning. So I've had allergy testing done. What are my options as far as treatment? Well, assuming that we found that you're allergic, the most and first thing to do if you know what you're allergic to is to try to avoid what you're told you're allergic to. And there are certain things that are easy to avoid, uh, other things that cannot be avoided. Is it pollen? Is it dust? Is it your cat? Um, so, so avoidance is number one. Medicating, antihistamines, nasal sprays would be the second level of defense against whatever you're allergic to. But if you're allergic to numerous things that are all around you, then desensitization would be the formal way to actually stop the allergic reaction from happening, although you are still exposed to it. And what are the options as far as desensitization? Well, the traditional way to desensitize is what's known as the allergy shots. So with allergy shots, you are given a very, very diluted dose of the combination of what you're, you're, you're allergic to, and you get that shot once a week, and then eventually the dose is increased gradually, so your immune system becomes more exposed to it and more tolerant of it. After a year or so, your immune system now is exposed to the full dose of what's in nature, and then you're maintained on that for another couple of years. Is there another option? The newer option is actually called sublingual immunotherapy. It's the same idea of exposing your immune system to whatever you're allergic to. However, instead of doing it as a shot, now you're doing it as a drop under your tongue. And that you could do daily, you could do at home, you don't have to come here and get a shot every week. So practically speaking, it's the way to go. Um, and then because it's done on a daily basis, you could increase your, your concentration more rapidly and reach your full level at a much faster rate. So I should feel better quicker with the drops? You will feel quicker, better with the drops because you are achieving your full desensitization much faster. So will they interfere with any of my current medications? No. No, they do not interfere with medications. Are there any side effects to the drops? Drops or shots, side effects are uh, allergic type of side effects. You may have a itch or a rash or, or symptoms of allergies because your body is being exposed to what you're allergic to. So typically at the very small dose, you don't get much of that, but it is possible that as we increase the dose, you may get a, into a phase of allergic symptoms. If they're significant, we bring down the dose because your immune system is not ready for that dose. And then we could bring it back up a few weeks later. So it becomes a, a, uh, almost a titration uh, based on how your body is tolerating the increase in concentrations. Do people usually tolerate the drops better or the shots better? Um, the drops are easier to take and more tolerable because the incidence of these type of side effects are less with the sublingual drops than with the shots. Now I've heard that insurance does not cover the drops. Um, why is that? Um, you know, we go through this periodically with almost everything that is new. Um, it becomes labeled as uh, experimental or uh, not approved by the FDA or whatever. But uh, these things have been used for years. Uh, they're, they're, they're available uh, all over the world. So it'll take time for our insurance industry to accept them as the proper way to treat. Uh, in the meantime, um, it's, you're buying actually 
the vial of the drops. And believe it or not, it's the same vial as the shots. So if you're getting as a shot, the insurance is paying for it. If you're getting it as drops, same thing, the insurance is not paying for it. But fortunately, it's not that expensive and you could figure it out over time. If you look at the inconvenience factor and the cost of having to come weekly and drive and take time off your work or home and whatever, uh, if, you, if you add up the inconvenience and the cost and so on, it becomes easier and cheaper way to do drops than to do shots. But everybody looks at it differently depending on their budget and so on. And uh, we, we could go either way. So we offer both options to the patient and whatever works better with the patient's lifestyle and budget, we go with. With the drops, do I have to take them at the same time every day? N not necessarily at the same, you know, exact same hour, but you, you want to do it in the morning, for instance. You do it every morning. Uh, you don't want to, you know, do morning and evening and so on. And it's best to do it you know, earlier during the day, so just in case you develop a reaction, you know, it's not happening while you're asleep. Should I stop my allergy medication while I'm taking the drops or shots, or should I continue with that? Well, you know, keep in mind that when we start the allergy treatment, you're still allergic. You're, you're still re reacting to the same allergens, which are the products you're allergic to. Uh, until your immune system is ready to, to, to block it. So you will be needing the antihistamines and the nasal sprays definitely in the beginning until your immune system is capable of blocking that reaction. So you don't need to stop it. Uh, sometimes you have to continue to do it. It depends on your symptoms and, and your reactions. Now, I do travel a lot, um, so my concern with the shots is, of course, coming in each week. With the drops, can I travel with them? Are they easy to travel with? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a small vial. You put it in your pocketbook, and uh, uh, you could travel with it. You could take it you know, anywhere you, you go. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. Uh, it is something that, uh, you know, it's small enough that you could, you could uh, put in your carry-on on a plane. Uh, so, so it's easy to travel with it. It's, it's a better option for people who travel a lot. And can I get these from a pharmacy? No, they're not, they're, they're, these are not drugs. They're not sold in pharmacies. These are products that are customized to each patient separately, differently, depending on their allergy test results. So they're, they're put together in our laboratory uh, and it's customized to each patient. So it's not a prescription that you could go and buy.